so here we are going to address some issues people tend to ask a lot what's the difference between the hidden woodsman forest ruck and the L.L. Bean continental ruck why should I buy this instead of this why should I buy this instead of this well we're gonna look at the features of both so you can see what this has that this doesn't and what this has that this doesn't and then you can make your own informed decision now from the start you can see of course these both have their top lids side pockets on both now one thing that you do see the LL Bean has this front pocket here the Hidden Woodsman does not also the LL Bean has these top straps the Hidden Woodsman does not the Hidden Woodsman is 30 liters the LL Bean is 33 liters now Let's take a closer look at both of these. Okay, starting here on the back side, they both do have grab handles. On the shoulder straps, they both do have pass-throughs on the shoulder straps. Ella Bean does have this breathable mesh. It seems a little bit thicker. They also both have test straps. The little bean also has these air channels in the breathable air mash mesh. Well, this is just flat here. Also, the little bean has a waist belt that can be tucked in here and hidden away. No belt at all. On the Hidden Woodsman. Now, as I just said, the LL Bean does have this uh, center pocket here. The Hidden Woodsman does not, but it has an axe loop. So you can put that there. Now, some of the biggest questions. And this is again the first run, first generation of the forest trucks from Hidden Woodsman. So a lot of people ask, do they have pass-throughs behind the Hidden Woodsman, these side pockets? No, they do not. But the Ella Bean does behind the pockets there, behind the side pockets. So you can put your trekking poles or machete or whatever you need, tie it onto there. And run it through on the underside <clears throat> on the hidden woodsman you have molly webbing you do not have that on the yellow bean the yellow bean you do have straps but these straps are super short you do not have i added these myself you do not have straps on the bottom of the Hidden Woodsman, but the straps for the lid are long, super long, and attached down there. That they're basically they are straps on the bottom side. They count as straps on the bottom side, just like those. So let's open them up. Hidden Woodsman, you have this possible pouch area under the lid. Ella Bean, you do not have it. They both have a drawstring closure. Ella Bean, you have this little compartment here that uh, you can put your, like your glasses in or something. It is uh, lined 
It also has hydration port on it. And it's got like a laptop sleeve slash place for you to put your um, hydration bladder. And then on the inside, it's just a straight bucket design. Nothing else on the inside. Hidden Woodsman. You do not have any side sleeves in there like he does on some of his other designs. You have this orange line here so it increases reflectivity inside. You also have this plastic sleeve or this plastic uh, sheet inside that helps give structure to the back panel there. And you can also use it as a sit pad or anything else you need. You could also take it out if you need to. There are no hydration ports on the Hidden Woodsman. So, Hidden Woodsman is made in the USA by hand. The LL Bean is made uh, overseas. I'll put where exactly on the screen. Also, I'll put on the screen the two different um, decount for the nylon. Now, some things I wish the Hidden Woodsman had is I wish it had on the inside here sleeves on the side like his uh, some of his other designs do um, the little side pouches on the inside and I wish they were passed through behind the behind those and I wish the backing was the um, mesh and the, the top had the top had like this the uh, straps on the top now, of course, that would increase the price. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with paying extra for those features. Maybe we'll have it on the next version. Um, be nice if you had a waist strap. That's okay. Things I would change on this one, on the little bean. These straps right here. All pretty much good for nothing. Um, you might be able to shove your coat in there. Uh, <laughs> maybe you could roll up your tarp and shove it in there. These are super short. The little bean, you guys need to make these a lot longer. Also, the buckles on this little bean are super small. Malcolm over the Hidden Woodsman has you guys beat and destroyed on buckles. The only good size buckles on the little bean ones or the top closure here. Other than that, the buckles are terrible on this one. I don't, you know, of course I, I've used the front pouch and I'm okay with having an axe sleeve instead. Yes, I've lost three liters on this by not having that, but I'm okay with that. You know, I've used this one a bunch. I'm using this one a bunch. You know, I love them. I love them both. If you want, you know, super high quality handmade in the USA, Hidden Woodsman, all the way. This stuff is super bomb proof. If you want something more on a budget that's still going to do well for a long time for you, you know, this L.L. Bean Continental Ruck. It's, it's a great uh, choice as well. I mean, you really can't go wrong either way. I, I really recommend them both. And... Any upgrades on the Hidden Woodsman, I would gladly pay pay for. I'd gladly pay the difference for. Um, also, customer service is probably going to be better on the Hidden Woodsman and more personal as well with the LLB. But the LLB, and you're going to have more uh, stock choices as well. So, which one do you want? <laughs> it's which one do you want? You can't go wrong with either. I love them both. And I, I interchange them both. I've used them both. And I'll continue to use them both. And I'll recommend both. Okay, so it wouldn't be a YouTube video without an airplane flying overhead, right? So there's a look at the LLB and Continental Ruck in Woodsman Forest Ruck. So now you can see, you know, why this is different than this. 
and hopefully you can quit asking. I see it all the time whenever Malcolm or somebody else makes a post about the forest rock. Well, how is it compared to the L.L. Bean? Continental rock. Does it have pass-through like that one? Does it have this? Does it have that? Now, you've got to see them side by side, feature by feature, and you can make your decision. Again, can't really go wrong with either one. Love them both. Uh, recommend them both. It's whatever fits in your personal budget, whatever you like. I'll continue to use them both based on whatever I feel is my mood for that upcoming hike. Remember, get outside, enjoy life. Take care. Check out all these videos floating around here for other great content. Also, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification, comment. Check out the links below. It all helps the channel and the family every little bit. And, you know, I really appreciate you.